everybody, welcome to our weekly live stream Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition online role playing adventures. We stream our sessions live on YouTube beginning at 9 p.m. Central Time every Sunday evening. Catch up on previous episodes on my YouTube page as well as weekly session write ups on my blog at roguewatson.com. I am Eric Watson, your dungeon master, and you can follow me on Twitter at roguewatson. I'm joined as always by my amazing players Chris playing Kalinar, the gold dragonborn paladin of vengeance. Greetings. Chris. Greetings, Eric. Heather playing Miri, the human monk of the elements. Hello, Heather. Hello, Eric. Raymond playing Cathra, the half-elf roguish arcane trickster. Rello, Raymond. <laughs> Hello. Rello. Reese playing Talus, the human wizard uh, of divination. Hello, Reese. Hi. <laughs> for our campaign, we use Roll20.net for video sharing, we use Google Hangouts for broadcasting and streaming. I use Open Broadcaster software. When we go live, we always do it during WrestleMania and the season finale of The Walking Dead to get maximum viewership. <laughs> At this point, I will recap last week's <laughs> session, uh, which was in the Monastery of Sacred Stone. Previously on Princes of the Apocalypse... Let's go to the Sighing Valley. With Thurl and most of the knights and initiates dead, the remaining residents of the Feather Gale Spire fled. Kalinar used a flask of oil and his own dragon breath to set the tower ablaze, and it became a giant smokestack, signaling to all others that our heroes do not mess around. They traveled to the gully in the east, where a trio of air monks guarded a natural cavern. The monks were dispatched, but an entrance that ran deeper was barred with a magical lock. The party left the Sighing Valley and traveled further east across the Sumber Hills, following the directions Larock had given upon his capture. Uh, let's go to the Desert Valley real quick. They witnessed another er earthquake, but this one was followed by a trio of giant insects burrowing into out of the ground. Their acid splash proved quite painful, but our heroes journeyed on till they came to a monastery hidden in the mountains. I still have my monastery picture for... Yes, there we go. The monastery. They bragged about their exploits at the Spire and were permitted entrance into the Sacred Stone Monastery. They noted the same Earth Cult symbol on the door to the inner shrine that they'd seen on Larocque's victims and steeled themselves for a possible fight. They met Carbo, another Earth Priest, who acquiesced to their prowess and accomplishments. He invited them to meet with their leader, the Abbess of Stone, below. When the party reached the staircase, however, Carbo flipped a switch and they slid to the basement on a newly formed ramp. The switch also released a very angry Umber Hulk right on top of them. So just to the basement. You guys might have to scroll to the right a bit. Uh, the party was in the fight of their lives, unsure whether to stand their ground or flee. They took some heavy wounds and fled to a passage in the east. Uh, where the Umber Hulk's artificial claws proved difficult to follow. He broke through the wall just as the heroes were finally able to wear him down in a hail of arrows, darts, and magical blasts. Rampaging beast lay dead, but our heroes barely cling to life in the bowels of the monastery. Begin chapter 8. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I totally messed up at the end of last session. The claws you guys found were not the ones I just described. Uh, the reason that those claws give burrowing, and he didn't have burrowing, is because I had that wrong. Um, you actually find the literal claws of the Umber Hulk that were removed uh, later on. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is we'll change those to um, claws of plus one. Uh, plus one damage and plus one at just usual plus one weapon. Oh, so they're just regular claws that were implanted into him? Uh, they were, uh, yeah, they like were, yeah. Wolverine style yeah. artificial claws, and they actually removed his natural ones, and that way he can't burrow, and that's how they were able to trap him. And I read the wrong item because that is an item that you guys get later, the actual claws of the Ember Hulk. So we'll just have these be just plus one claws. Anybody's a f proficient with them, and they give you the usual plus one weapon stuff. However, because they are claws, you can't manipulate items or cast spells while using them. So there's still 1d8, they're just 1d8 plus one? Plus one. There, or 1d8, okay. Yeah. And plus one to your attack roll? Yes. Yeah. 
but you have to put I'll them on. take them. You have to wear them? You do have to wear them, yeah. Do you, I mean, you, you want to use them? <laughs> I'll become a mermage. <laughs> Umber mage! <laughs> Kether says, so, are you guys ready to follow me now? <laughs> no? Well, I, <laughs> uh, I need to patch a couple of uh, profusely bleeding holes in the side of me. <laughs> yeah. I am willing to stand watch I want to rest. I don't think this is the best place to rest, just because there's a dead Umber Hulk in what should have been a doorway to our <laughs> the, uh, west. <laughs> Yeah, this and doorway no longer exists. It has just a dead umber hulk in the passage. Well, well it would take them a while to move the thing if they did try to go that way. <laughs> might assume we're dead. Say so what? They might assume we're dead. Uh, they they have stairs that come down here. I imagine they're gonna figure out we're not dead pretty quick. I'd rather have a door between us and the enemy, if at all possible. <laughs> all right. All right. Like me in this room. Nothing Although horrible. We are, right? Yeah, we are in bad shape, so I don't know how far. I would just want to use some hit dice. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna step in here. You said there were skeletons in here last time. Uh, I can read you the description of this room again. This barrel vaulted chamber is obviously an ancient crypt. Niches along the walls hold dozens of old skeletons, some with scraps of burial cloth still clinging to their bones. Really? Uh, you guys also notice um, what looks kind of sporadic, but some kind of arcane runes um, scattered around this area as well. Okay. I'm going to... Divine Sense to see if any of these skeletons are undead. Waiting to pop up. Uh, your paladin sense gives off some warning signs towards the eastern end of this area. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Back up! The... <laughs> and what does it tell you? The end of the next turn, <laughs> since any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet is not behind total cover, you know the type of the being, but not its identity. Okay. You sense undead towards the... Uh, eastern half of the crypt, I guess. Okay. Cool. There's undeath in this area. Oh, Specifically uh, over there. Don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I water, Can I water whip Tether and pull her backwards? <laughs> <laughs> There's a door to our south. Maybe we should try to go through that door. Right right now, I'm, I'm really just interested in just finding a place to actually short rest. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I am in agreement with Kalinar. As hard as that is to believe. <laughs> Can we open that door? Or listen at door first. <laughs> yeah, there's a door down here. Uh, you can roll perception to listen at it. Uh, it does appear to be... Uh... I hear nothing. Well, if Mir doesn't hear anything, open it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're getting a little bit of trouble trying to get this door open. <laughs> you can also try a strength check. It appears to be quite stuck. Give me a moment. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you bounce off the door. <laughs> a strength check? That's the check mark, right? Yes. Yeah, you got ogre strength. Just push that door off it. Not my much. Yeah, you are barely able to force that door open. Whatever it opens. It's enough. Kathy, you've got dark sight. Do you see anything? I'll try to use these graphics actually to know what doors are open and close if I can. So. Yes, it just looks like another door straight ahead and then two pathways to left and right. So no bad guys? <laughs> No, I can take a few steps forward. Uh, this area looks like um, just kind of mine shafts um, all around you. Looks like uh, tunnels, natural tunnels. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, everything went black. Oh wait, no, that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out. I've gone blind. Old timbers kind of help support the walls. Can I close this door behind us? Yeah, you can. I'd also like to light a torch. Alright, so the tunnel continues to your west and your east, and then there's a door immediately to your south. Maybe this south door is a room that we can rest in? <laughs> I'm so wary. <laughs> I will come listen to this door. I hear nothing. <laughs> your listening skills are quite bad. Uh, you think you hear some movement in there, though. I'll take a, I'll take a gander. <laughs> Let's form a line. <laughs> what are you here? What are you, you here? You also hear the occasional movement. <laughs> All right. I hear, I hear things. Yeah, Mary, you hear what sounds like um, kind of dipping in water at one point, so moving around, and then you definitely hear some uh, what sounds like uh, orcish language. Oh, great. Let's see if they're friendly. Great. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. I understand Orcish. Do you? You want to try to listen? See if you hear what they say? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Form a line. Just open it. I don't want to get in a fight right no. now. No. No. <laughs> a fight right now would be bad news. Kalinor's okay. already nearly come back from death twice. <laughs> of being cut in half. <laughs> Magic and rules. <laughs> rules. The magic of rules. rules. I'll listen. My magic and bend rules. <laughs> um, my thing's broken, though, so I can't click on my perception button. Your thing's broken? Yeah, you'll have to do it for me. Okay. But right, hold on, I can log in somewhere else. Hold. I don't know why my problem You mean to do it? Uh, sure. I'm logging back in. What'd I get? I <laughs> critically failed for you. Oh. <laughs> Just here, here's steel. Yeah. Steel in the door. <laughs> he turns around like, are you sure you heard orcish language in there? You have no care. idea. I don't hear anything. Alright, well then... I suggest we move to the west. Okay. okay. Slowly and steadily. <laughs> yeah, you just hear occasional like wind and breeze kind of waft through there. Otherwise, just just the sounds of little echoing noises. Um, you occasionally hear sounds from uh, that sound like they're above, um, almost like being in the having like neighbors above you. Okay. Nothing but two dead, end, two dead ends up here, it looks like. Got another path down here. <coughs> Look how slowly we're moving. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we need to be really careful. <laughs> we're usually we're just like, la 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 la. How oh, things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's only when I had an eye of Krillog. That's right. <laughs> Drop that eye everywhere. Watch out for we'll have that potion of animal friendliness. <laughs> if I could ever find a brazier, I can make a familiar at some point for the situation. Oh, nice. Droop. <laughs> Droop is worthless. <laughs> Droop's hiding in your pocket. Yeah. Just like attached to my leg. <laughs> Weighing you down. Dead end to our south. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of uh, twists and turns in here. It looks like a lot of these dead ends have been, like, were worked on and just look like they've been abandoned. Like, those directions have been abandoned and, like, new tunnels formed. Kind of a. Alright, north or south? Bit of a maze in here. Uh, well, we gotta go. Well, shoot. North first. I, th I think this is gonna be it. Well, 
Just go back to the room we were in? I feel, like this, I feel like we might have gone around. I see stairs going down. Oh, are these stairs going down? Or they might be going up. I can't tell. Yeah. I forgot where you guys are. Oh, in the door. Okay. Um, let's see where you guys are at. <clears throat> I, really think, I really think this door might go back to the Umberhawk room. Uh, you are correct. The, uh... This is that door that was inside of that cage where the Umberhawk was? Yeah, you see a passage that leads to a gate made of iron bars that blocks the way north, secured with a chain and padlock. Uh, just beyond the gate, worn stone steps descend and turn left. This is no mine tunnel. The stonework is near perfect, despite its evident age. Uh, to the right, a short passage leads uh, to a big door of iron plate dented in from the other side. Also appears uh, locked with a big padlock on it. Okay, so that, that goes back to the Umberhulk room. Um, we don't really want to be anywhere near here, because <laughs> presumably these stairs go up, you said? Uh, the stairs to the north go down. Yeah, they go down. Oh boy. And it looks like a super big imposing lock on the gate. We turn back, come back here later. Sounds like a plan. So why can't what we hear echo? <laughs> I can hear me. Raymond, there's two of you here. <laughs> Could be a problem. Okie doke. Oh boy. That's a dead end over there. What, to our west? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Shit. Bad things? Two bad, bad things. Uh, as you turn a corner, yeah, you see a, a light, kind of a lantern on the ground, and you see um, a pair of what look like uh, prisoners. They are just dressed in rags and appear ratty and dirty, and they're kind of mining away with um, old pickaxes at a uh, corner of the mines, and they are uh, shackled to each other like a chain gang. And uh, one of them was working, um, the other one's kind of leaning back and looks like he's resting. And he uh, turns a, down and kind of notices, because obviously you're carrying a torch with a light coming down the dark tunnel. And uh, he kind of jumps for a second and kind of fumbles with his pickaxe and immediately goes back to start uh, hammering. And uh, starts whispering to the other one frantically. And they both kind of look at you fearfully. Hmm. Can we tell what race they are? Uh, they appear to be human. Okay. Um, You're away, just, people, Kalinar. Yes, I'm going to slowly <laughs> approach them. Yeah, the see, Jesus out of I people. see something to the room to the south. What do I, what's down this hallway? Uh, you see what look like some curious, like, purple mushrooms clinging to kind of the sides of the walls, like, uh, along this little corner of the path. Can we touch the purple mushrooms? Ask them <laughs> what the purple mushrooms are. I will. You there! Are you slaves in this mine? What? They just appear like totally just uh, frightened and fearful. And uh... says, what? what? What is this? What is this all about? We're, we're working hard. Don't hurt us. Um... Kalinar says, "Fear not. We are we are not your captors. We are here, in fact, to free you from this bondage. Your your captors, the people who have enslaved you, will not be long for this earth." Oh, oh, okay. You're you're here to rescue us. We are. But our rescue will... By a mistake. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Cal says that. <laughs> <laughs> the other one pipes up and says, uh, there, there are others uh, to the east. 
there's over a dozen of us. They've got they've got us penned up. We're working the mines. I see. What do they have you looking for? They don't tell us. There's there's nothing down here. We're not finding any ores or gems or anything. They just keep telling us to work out these tunnels, expand them. What are your names? They give random names. Let's <laughs> 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 hope they were the questions. Uh, yeah, they are. They are, in fact. Uh, yeah, you, you flip through your PDA and ask yeah, them yeah. if they are any of the people, and they are. Uh, oh, which one are they? Oric and Lofna, Carlos and Jarly. Right. They say that they are not any of those people, but they say that uh, any of those people might be um, one of the other prisoners. Well, Greta. What do you say? I'm going through the names on our quest. They say that uh, oh, okay. both of them were uh, farmers that just uh, work outside, I don't know, we'll say Westford or one of those towns. And a bunch of uh, raiders swept in and uh, captured a bunch of them and uh, hauled them back here. And they've been working the mine since. Let's see. And they're not surprised that you guys are also looking for other missing people. Considering that there's, they say there's a lot of uh, prisoners, slaves here in the mines. Ketha says, can you fight? Uh, they both look incredibly fearful <laughs> and shake their heads. <laughs> Can you take us to the other prisoners? Uh, roll persuasion. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I just blink at you. <laughs> uh, they kind of reel back and say, uh, oh, if they catch us, they'll sick drool on us. He's so mean. Who is drool? <laughs> He's Jurl's pet ogre. He's big and mean and stupid, and he lets him torture us. Oh dear! What does he do to you? <laughs> what kind of torture? Go, on, <laughs> go in detail, please. Don't let me relive this. <laughs> All right. Hey, what do you yeah. wish us to? He makes us face each other. <laughs> What's up with the purple mushrooms? Don't touch the mushrooms. They sting real bad. Mm. No touching the mushrooms. Got it. Is there a cast magic, mage hand, mage hand, and <laughs> mage hand. What are you doing with it? I'm using it to pick one of the mushrooms. Okay. Uh, the mage hand goes and picks one of the mushrooms, and immediately a bunch of them seem to crawl uh, towards you. Please roll for initiative. <laughs> really? God oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> Son of a... That's hilarious. <laughs> Couldn't just leave it alone for. Nope. Just. I'm not even that impulsive. Step <laughs> one. Is that really their stats? Kether glares at the prisoners and is like, <laughs> "You guys suck." <laughs> They told you not to touch them. They told me a lie. They said it would burn up. Or whatever burn they said. Burn up? They said they sting. Okay, they sting. That's what they said. They no. didn't say they sting when they bite you. <laughs> they did say they would come to life. That is true. But yeah, I, I would not have watched <laughs> that. Ha! Ha! I still roll the... Violet fungus, right? At a minus five initiative. They have a mind. That's why to check. I had to check their stats. Oh. Like, whoa, they are fungus. <laughs> and they still rolled better than Calor. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms got a bigger uptake. Uh, Reese, for some reason your webcam is frozen on my screen. Also. All right. Any better? There we go. How many of these ridiculous? Oh, great! Here they come. Tokens. <laughs> uh, Kethra, you got the jump on them when you notice one of them reaching out with its little <laughs> tentacles at you. <laughs> I'm just curious. Do you guys see anything? 
I see you see mirrors. the fungus. Oh, so you can't see that far. Oh, is that what that glowing thing is? The torch? Uh huh. Mm. Uh, so guys, there are some. Fungus are coming our way. Yeah, we see that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, I think everybody has torches right this... now, right? Can I just reach out and flip Catherine? <laughs> no, I'm aiming. I'm aiming my crossbow at them. All right, I'm going to shoot the rightmost one with my crossbow. Go for it. You hit him. You hit the mushroom. Uh, <laughs> that is not quite massive damage, actually. Serious, these things have that much frickin' life. That one was a big mushroom. <laughs> Are you gonna move? Uh, no. <laughs> Dallas. Dallas. What's everyone's health at? Twenty-seven. Twelve. Thirty. Okay. <laughs> After as ascertaining. Getting that information. <laughs> Talos writes it down in his notebook. <laughs> yes. It's notebook. Which, uh, oh, which mushroom did Kether attack? The rightmost one. Alright, Talos will cast Firebolt at the rightmost one, saying, This can only do good things. Mushrooms hate fire. <laughs> that will hit uh, and. Almost engulf it completely in flames. It appears oh, to wow. have just a little bit of a mushroomness to it. As, uh, <laughs> yeah. Most of its tentacles wither away and die and burn out. If it could scream in horrifying pain, it would. It's Poor mushy it's mushroom. Like a mushroom. <laughs> Mary. You're right here. I guess I'll shoot the mushroom too. <laughs> I love how you're all too afraid to touch it. <laughs> All right, uh, Dark will sink into the mushroom's core <laughs> and kill it. It'll biodegrade the mushroom and then <laughs> yes, rapidly. Uh, Wait, do I get to attack again since I have double attack? Just to yell irony. <laughs> I think that works on range attacks, right? Yeah, it does. It's just yeah. any attack is another attack. All right. You have used the same attack again, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> dart that guy. Another dart sinks into the mushroom and it whirls its little tentacle feelers around, gyrating like a stabbed jellyfish. <laughs> the violet fungus will go and they appear to sprout some like tentacles along the ground and crawl towards you. However, they only have a speed of five. <laughs> <laughs> But they have a range of 10. Wow, okay. And here's the weird thing is, they do 1d4 attacks. So I'm going to roll a 1d4 first, and that will determine how many times he will attack you with his rotting touch. Oh, boy. The answer is one time. <laughs> oh, I rolled great, though. <laughs> Wait, you didn't tell us which one you were attacking? Oh, uh, he's a, in reach of 10, so we can only hit Catherine. Well then, I will react to that. <laughs> have my damage. Is it Does a necrotic uh, mean anything? Just the type of damage. Type of damage. Mm. So you guys eventually you might get resistances to certain kinds of damage, so... You will pay for this, mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom silently glares with its eyes. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> oh god! Uh, Kalinar. Kalinar. How many are there? One, five. You know, I'm not rolling for the prisoners. Roll. They're just like cowering in the back, and one of them is like, "I told you, you shouldn't mess with the mushrooms." <laughs> and the other prisoner like reaches over and like bops him on the head. You don't know Kether, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he, cannot, he can't not open doors and he can't not touch mushrooms. Um, 
I thought they would be like the other ones that shot out spores, okay? Shot out rainbows. <laughs> it makes sense. Kamara's gonna swing at this the one right in front of him. I have a feeling you should have touched it. Maybe not. We'll see. Seven damage. You cleave a good chunk out of the mushroom. Uh, it weaves its tendrils around, but doesn't. Uh, nothing happens when you slice a sword. Oh no, it's weaving. <laughs> Another chunk. Yeah, that one actually yeah, severs it in half. half. It goes down. All right. Then I'm going to... That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's the last one. All right. I'm going to cleave this one. 15 for 8 damage. Take another good chunk out of the mushroom. Mm-hmm. Slice and dice. Put it in my stew. Plus eight to your attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Get the. Uh... Gonna move five, ten, and then use a rapier attack. Jesus. Uh, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> I don't think the mushroom has a behind that you can stab, but, but you are able to eviscerate it somehow, and no more mushrooms no more spring mushrooms. to life. Are there any mushrooms left to touch? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to touch them, please. All the large All the part of the mushrooms mushroom appear mushroom to be uh, the, uh, the ones that sprung to life. Sprung to life. So the rest are just kind of like squished against the wall now. All right, Kalinar is going to walk up to the two prisoners. Um, right, best to get the mushroom. Oh, yeah, you can miss it. You say that the the mushrooms are taken care of. They won't be a threat to anyone anymore. Hey, um, we find them in the mines every once in a while, and sometimes new ones come up, and we just know to stay away from them now. Occasionally, uh, if only if only we had learned the same lesson. Yeah. <laughs> um. I only have two questions for you now. One, I need to know where the other prisoners are. You don't have to lead us to them, just ge general direction, distance. Uh, they nod and, they nod and point, to point to east, and then a little and bit... Little bit uh, well, basically just straight east down the tunnel. Okay. And it says... Uh, Second... Watch out for the it's like the, the guard room. As you head east, it'll be to the north. And that's where uh, Jerth and his guards are. They all camp out there with the ogre. And that's also the stairs to the monastery above us are located. That must have been the, that, that must have been the room that we listened in on. Um, very well. We'll avoid it until it's time to take their lives. <laughs> Secondly, we need a place for my party and I to rest briefly. Do you know of a safe place where that we could do so? Kether, what are you doing? Kether, what are you doing? I'm freeing the prisoners. Oh. Okay. oh. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. G Galar stops him. <laughs> I use mage hand. Well, well, you can't use these tools of the mage hand, can you? I can't. I don't well, determine that. I don't know if we're determining that yet. Fine, I'll look it up. Well, I'll stop it either. I way. have my doubts, but okay. <laughs> Can't carry more than ten pounds, but I don't know if a, how much a toolkit weighs, or just literally like a lockpick if that's what you need. Yeah, I just need a lockpick. Um, to answer your query. Yes. They actually kind of look to each other, and one of them says, "Well, there's a. The only place I know that the monks never go to is a crypt, uh, in the northeast. And uh, they've got it sealed off. Here, there's a uh, something really powerful that's kept in there. But uh, and another one shrugs and says, uh, "I just know they never go near it. So it might be a safe place to." Rest, but it also might be dangerous. <laughs> We've never been in there. We're, 
I'm thinking, I mean, I, I appreciate the information, that's helpful, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a storeroom or just anywhere that's just a room with only one door. Uh, they shake their heads and says, uh, there's nothing down here but just a maze of tunnels. I don't know if that would be safe to rest in. Hmm. I understand. Well, um, until such time as we can rid this place of its present occupants and free you, and if, I don't know if Kethra has pulled the chains off of them or not, but Ka if... if, no, I, if didn't you, I just unlocked the lock. Okay, but, well, then Kalinar uh, walks back up and just reattaches the, the manacles. <laughs> I said, but I says, you were going to free us. <laughs> In time, sir. If you try to escape now, you, it will lead to nothing but your death. This place is still populated with a plethora of cultists and other nefarious creatures. Once we have cleansed this place of its evil, we will free you all and you'll be able to leave at your leisure. Until then, you must continue your work and you must not give any evidence to your captors that you have seen us. Do you understand? I know, and the other one says, you know, I think there's a, there's a tunnel directly to our north that uh, we've almost uh, tunneled through, and the passage looks like it goes on for a while. Maybe that might lead somewhere, I'm not sure. The other one says, uh, don't be silly, that's not going to go anywhere, it's just rubble in there. So they seem unsure. A path to the north, okay. Okay. After Kalinar relocks the manacles, Kethler mutters under her breath, stupid Kalinar, I was going to use him as bait. <laughs> You're awful! <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, please uh, please, uh, please be able to free all the rest of the prisoners. We're all miserable. <laughs> <laughs> we will. As soon as your captors are destroyed, we will free you all. And just for future reference, I can use these tools. But can you? From, uh -huh. you can? Okay. From afar. Yeah, I mean, the range is only like 10 feet, I think. Okay. Oh, 30 feet. Sorry. Well, um, they didn't seem like they, they thought there was anywhere for us to rest except for that room with the ogre in it. I don't want to go in that room. No. They mentioned, that one. They mentioned the, the crypt. The crypt. Right. No, well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I guess, yeah. Which I think will be the opposite of short resting, especially with Kalinar in our group. <laughs> well, and I specifically detected undead up there. <laughs> so, I imagine there's at least a fight before we can rest if we go up there. Can we just short rest in this hall? We could. Just... We're almost we're at the very south end of this mine. Yeah, and, and there's the mine just continues to like twist and turn around. Here, look. Nothing can come from behind us in here. <laughs> that rock looks comfortable. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really have any better ideas. Can... Let's see, do we have anything that could like, hide us or something? I, don't I do not have an invisibility cloak. I don't know if Tal's cast illusion and make a wall appear in front of us. I can do a 5x5 five five wall, sure. We can all hide in single file. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if we all if we put out all our torches, and presumably there are no elves in this earth cult, at least so far that we know, but even if there are, they won't know to even come look for us unless they have... I mean, they won't elves come, aren't no, the only thing they can see in the dark. Just well, I suppose. I can see them before they see us. Uh, yeah, exactly. At least if, if Kether's looking, at least we can see them before they get here. So we can do that. Done and done. All right. My two level one spells back. <laughs> all right, Put out all our torches. Rest. Yeah, we're putting out all our torches, yeah. so it's completely dark. 
Yeah, and my light. Oh. Um, yeah, minus a torch. And Kethra is just keeping a lookout. Who all had torches on? I did. Me. You, you just had your mace on, didn't you? Or did you actually yeah. have a torch? Okay. It's my mace. Light, light spell. Mm. Does that stay on while you rest or no? I can snuff it out. Or I have it in a lantern that I can just cover up. Okay. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah, the darkness. Yeah, the darkness. <laughs> I can't see anyone. Nothing besides my token. Alright, so a short rest, you guys can decide how many hit dice you want to spend. And then you do get, uh, what, key points back? Mm -hmm. I think the wizard gets some spells. I'd like to spend at least two hit dice. I might spend a third. That was an awful. Look at that. Oh, Throw the two. one. <laughs> All right. Eight's better. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use wow. my lap this last one. One more. Six. Ten. Wow. You get good ones after your fail. <laughs> Yes. I, I didn't even need to dice left and right. <laughs> yes. We need to now. Have... Thirteen. Kathy, go ahead and roll perception. Five. Eighteen. All right, that puts me at thirty hit points. So that's good enough. Kithra, right when you guys are chilling down here, and you guys are keeping it pretty dark and quiet, and seem like you're trying to make a. Uh, the idea is to be very stealthily resting. <laughs> mm hmm. So, Kethra, I'm going to give you a few seconds to react to this information, but you see what looks like an orcish figure uh, crossing the hallway right about now. Does not looking in your direction, is going straight west. In fact, I'm just going to put him there because none of the rest can see. That's true. He's on attack it. <laughs> Actually, it might be the perfect time. Do it, you must. You have a few <laughs> seconds. He's, he looks like he's going to continue on his route to the west. I do nothing. All right. Continues on. All right. Another, let's say, ten minutes goes by. And hey guys. your short rest is over. <laughs> a giant blue orc just walked past us ten minutes oh, ago. Boy. Okay. That probably was the, uh, whatever that name of that guy was that I mentioned How? Earlier. How big? Five by five or ten by ten? <laughs> <laughs> Look, five by five. Okay. Big for a man. He was blue. <laughs> All right. I'd like to uh, bring my mace back out so I can see again. Okay. And I'm going to relight, relight my torch. <laughs> yes. All of us would like light again, please. Lights. Light. You never uh, know how much you need light until you don't have it anymore. <laughs> you know, I know it was like 10 minutes ago, but... All right. Where do we go now? Um, yeah, let's just go up. I don't know. Now that we actually are available to fight, <laughs> I'd head to the northeast to the crypt they said they, there was somewhere around here. Let's go. Let's go check. Let's go see those two guys again. For what purpose? Um, I don't know, to kill things. You're not going to kill them. The slaves? <laughs> no, just the giant orc talking to the slaves. Oh, did, was he going that direction? Was he going west? Yeah, more mushrooms. <laughs> Catherine's the worst person relaying information. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was headed east. No, he's heading west. He's, he's uh, with the slaves right now. You presume. No, I saw them. Wow. Wait, what? You saw the slaves? Yes. That okay? That's new. <laughs> what, were they with him? 
The orc was right. Was with them. Okay. I don't know what. Okay. Sure. Right before we turned the corner, I looked back and I saw him talking to the slaves. During our short rest. No, just now, as we as we were walking down the hall. Oh. Okay, well, sure. Yeah, let's go ambush that guy, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, that's... You, we oh, should have man. <laughs> this is probably a little late on this info, but we'll see. <clears throat> it was done here. Do this with torches marching down the hallway, or how? Oh, I see him. Yeah, his back is currently uh, well, looking at the guys, but your torches are also giving off, like, light off the walls around you. I'll put my torch out. There's a torch over there. I like a 82% reduction in light, please. <laughs> I'd like to hide my mace under my shirt so that way I can just see in front of me. Hide the mace under your shirt. Where is... I'm just going to hang uh, back. Are two of y'all on top of each other? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Catherine keeps hiding behind me. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Oh, everyone else turned their lights off. Your oh, out. you can do what? that. What? Huh? Eighty percent reduction. <laughs> yes, I'm I can. To have I... Wow. Faint glow around. Oh, you have a faint glow. Okay. I have a faint glow. Yeah, I can modify exactly how far y'all's light is. Impressive. I have that power. <laughs> faint glow, you say? Uh, everybody roll... Well, I guess, tell me what you're going to do, and then I can have you roll stealth checks. I'm, I just walked up to this uh, cliff here. Gather, can you sneak up on him? I can try. You guys stay here, okay? Okay. That. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the you sneaking up on him. So, should I roll stealth? Yes. Uh, he is not actively, like, looking out, so it's just going to be his passive perception, which is not as good as your stealth. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. yeah. So you are stealthed from him. Okay. Can I jump out and shoot a crossbow at his back? Well, what we'll do is we'll start uh, the combat initiative, and you'll get the initial uh, stealth round, unless anybody else wants to... Uh, I mean, if you all want to roll stealth checks, then we can make it so you all get a surprise round if you all meet, beat his passive perception, essentially. What if we fail the stealth check? You just don't get to go that first round? You just don't get that surprise round, yeah. And okay. Then, I mean, it's... The the whole stealth thing with D&D is a little mechanical that way. It's a little tricky. How are we doing so far? Uh, good. So go ahead and roll. Everybody roll stealth if you want a chance at having a free round, and then also roll initiative with the caveat that you all might be able to just go first before him, no matter what. <laughs> oh, wow. I biffed it bad, guys. Did you, do a, <laughs> did you roll stealth? Well, we all got stealth, though, so I feel like we're just going to murder him really fast. Yeah, that's going to be the advantage. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Yeah. So you guys all get a round before he does, which you all <laughs> you all get to go around, and then Mary Kalnar and Kether get to go before he goes. So chances are, yeah. this guy's not gonna survive, which I think was the point of this. So go for it, <laughs> Mary. He's about thirty feet in front of me. <laughs> well, you might be able to see him just because he's on. The uh, prisoners still have that torch next to them, so this area right around him is this zone is still yeah. there. Almost like I did it on purpose. Twenty is definitely gonna crack him around for. Is this a stealth round, or I get to attack twice? It's normal action. Yeah. So yeah. Well. Okay. Stealth just means this is a free bonus round of combat that he doesn't get to participate in, essentially. Uh, 18 Boy. will hit for 10 damage, and 10 is not going to hit. Uh, these guys look like, um, similar to orcs, but they appear to be better armored and look, uh, more intelligent than a typical orc. Mm. And they're 
bluish colored for whatever reason. Galinar. Five, ten. They're higher level arms. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 25, tell. 30. I, he actually can't make it. Oh, shit. I barely, I barely made it at 40. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kalmar will try to throw a spear <laughs> or lance. In like into... a point blank range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not He's not in 10 feet of me, is he? Yeah. Is, is. Is that, does that count That's as within 10, 10 feet? Okay. Yeah, technically. I mean, it's a little diagonal, but yeah. Well, then, instead, I'm going to try to lance him. Yes. <laughs> lance from the uh, darkness. 16 will not hit the Orog. Oh, shit. Heavily armored armor. I uh, will try to lance him again. 24, 24 hit. Though. Jeez. All right, that's it for me. Kethra... Moving as fast as the light, Kethra dashes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. <laughs> yep. And with your rapier, plunges it into him. Oh, for 20 damage. 20 damage, yeah. Uh, not quite massive damage and not quite a killing blow, but you find a sweet spot and he gives off a horrible cry and like sinks to his knees in agonizing pain. And just starts rolfing up blood. He appears yeah, to be yeah. moments from death. <laughs> Talus, Talus, will he survive? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we are all engulfed in flames. <laughs> Too and thinks he sees the light, but is actually just fiery death that embraces him. And he is enveloped in flames, gives a cry of shrieking pain and crumples to the floor. And immediately both prisoners just break down on their knees, sobbing in fear. <laughs> <laughs> the sight of an orc being roasted alive. Cut those like holy shit. <laughs> I'm right oh between me right now. <laughs> between the two of us. Like the, th th thank you. Can you not use us as bait next time? <laughs> <laughs> You're not bait, friends. We simply saw an opportunity and took it. <laughs> oh god, we just want to get out of here. Can I search this guy for some sort of identification? Isn't he pretty much ashes at this point? Uh, roll 2d10. 2d10, oh. Yeah, beneath the smoldering ashes, you find 10 gold pieces. Ooh. Huzzah! Here, everybody, you can have, uh, two. Gold pieces! Twenty-three damage fireball, Jesus. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> Should we leave them here still? You could just drag this body out and give them the same instructions to just sort of say say that they didn't they haven't seen anything. <laughs> I think these two have seen too much. Yeah. Yeah, the question is how long is that a reasonable lie for them to tell? <laughs> like, there's bloodstains and fire burns there, all over this tunnel. Him. <laughs> you see nothing, really? <laughs> all right, do you, do you gentlemen believe you can find your way out of here or find a safe place to hide? <laughs> they just kind of say, uh, we could just kind of cower in this corner if it's all right with you. Well, if you're going to cower in the corner, then stay manacled and pretend like you didn't see anything. We'll drag this body out of the way so that if you're questioned, you don't have, you, you you can pretend like you aren't trying to escape. That sounds good. But okay. can you please kill the rest of them. There's not of course. I don't think there's too many of them. I don't really can't recognize one from the other, but I know that's that wasn't Jerth. 
It was one of his underlings. How many have you ever seen together at one time? One of them says uh, three, another one says four. And they appear to kind of argue with each other. Well, then let's just assume there's three left. <laughs> All right, Kalinar grabs this body, this charred remains. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> blackened. By his feet and just sort of direct. Can I relight my torch? <laughs> I just realized yeah. I'm not. I also need my light bubble extended, please. And he drags it to about here, where I'm at. Just down the tunnel. Thank okay. you. All right. Good men, stay brave. We'll have this over with shortly. <laughs> Not solemnly. All right, where were we <laughs> before we decided to murder a man? <laughs> Work. Oh, found a door. Uh, yeah. Lots of magic mushrooms. <laughs> More yeah, mushrooms. A door to the north that looks similar to the uh, door you found on the other side that is to the south. I bet it's the same room. Yeah. Should we go in? There's a gate. There's a Ketra, gate. Up. You see the. Uh, I don't know if the rest of them can see. You see the. Uh, Locked gates to the east. Uh, at the end of the tunnel, three cell-like rooms have been excavated from the rock. Iron bars wall off each one with a chain and padlock securing a swinging gate. Inside, a number of prisoners huddle on miserable straw pallets. Yeah, the doors more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they notice the light, and a couple of them uh, shy away from it and just... Uh, Kind of react like the other prisoners did, and out of fear. You mean mirrors the light? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, they can well, clearly see all the torches at the end of the hall. Place. This place is pitch black, so any kind of light in this area is going to be extremely noticeable. I think Talos is listening at the door. Oh, um, you hear um, kind of the same voices before, um, some minor shuffling and occasional uh, orcish. Uh, sound, and then uh, a pause, and then you hear a really low sound talking in a few uh, guttural um, words. Oh boy. I hear some Ooh. shuffling. Let me listen. Here. Let me listen. Reese is really quiet to me. Is Damn it. To well, just let Talus try to make the same sounds and you translate. <laughs> I know, the only one who can understand them can't hear them. Can't hear them, yeah. Am I still really quiet? <laughs> There you go. No, there there you go. you're good. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Talos will repeat and you translate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Got it. Uh, sounds like these tacos are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> tacos. Um, I don't know why they're talking about tacos, Talos. Keep listening. <laughs> we could try to be clever and split up and one of, two of us go on the north door and two of us go on the south door. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> I'd rather that's, that's you, you and Mary to plug up any hole. Okay. <sighs> Should we just like... Charge in there? Well, we could, or Catherine could come back here and use Mage Hand and open the door and just let them funnel out so that way they can't go very far. Sure. Okay. Just step back. Yeah, we'll just block it. Well, we don't even have to go that far. I was thinking just block it close up okay, so that way they didn't have any room to move. Yeah, okay, yeah, just right here so they can only go two abreast. <laughs> yeah, or even I'll be here and you can be here and they can't even come out, really. That's true. Man, if they're as powerful as the Umber Hulk, you two are going to be embarrassed. As well, before things get started, I am going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on myself. <laughs> Give myself some more AC. Alright, the door's unlocked. Before we start this, can we take a five minute break? We can indeed. Let's take a <laughs> quick break before opening this door. 
back in a few minutes. -o.
Okay. Back from break. OBS did not crash, which is good, although my frames have been back to atrocious rating, so... But hopefully the recording is fine, that's the main part. <laughs> as long as the recording doesn't jack up, we're all good. Oh, the texts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our phone's been blowing up because we're being invited to my nephew's high school graduation. And Are you on she one started of those a group giant texts? text message with all of my family, so... That's always fun! Uh, yep. My oldest nephew is gonna graduate in high school, holy crap. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Yep. 80. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready for you guys to execute whatever insane plan you've got. Uh, so the door's unlocked, right? Door's unlocked. Are we just, are we just going in full bore? Because I would just go in full bore. Full bore. I say throw the door open and throw your torch at him. Say when, Daisy. Say when, Daisy. Counter just kicks the door open. Roll strength check. Yeah, roll strength check. <laughs> <laughs> See how dramatic this is. <laughs> Mildly dramatic. You the kick it and it just kind of lazily down. swings <laughs> open. <laughs> Gentlemen, we would have words. <laughs> um, Where did this come um, from, Galvanar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the door not crashing the door down, crashing so they must have act like that was part of the plan, to, like, mm -hmm. gingerly open the door. Um, the one in the middle looks more uh, battle-scarred, and appears to be the leader. Is, uh, these two appear to have been uh, playing some kind of, like, card game on the floor, and this ogre is just kind of, like, playing with some little, like, figurines and just kind of minding his own business. And uh, when you do that... Uh, they, all they all look up, and this one just kind of, uh, kind of the ogre just kind of looks at you looks curiously, curiously. and uh, this one this kind of one just barks of out, What's the pass sign? sign? Uh, the pass sign? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Password? Um, <laughs> um, one of them whispers, he's the earth. Says, uh, uh -oh. Wait. Wait, what are they doing here? They doing here? Be... We didn't see anybody come see anybody down the come stairs. But <laughs> like the earth symbol. Yeah, in the air, just the little earth triangle. Mm -hmm. Are you making it? Yeah. Oh dear! <laughs> uh, they're not wearing any masks or robes. What are you guys playing? <laughs> uh, explain some kind of a uh, simple game of uh, basically throwing like dice and uh, betting on it. Can I try out a hand? <laughs> says, no! No! Hey, have you guys seen, and he says some kind of orcish name, uh, he went out the hallway to check on the prisoners. We have. Damn it. That's all I say, that's all I say. Um. Catherine says, he was still talking with the other slaves. Shut up, elf. Shut up, elf. 
Mind your tongue, sir. We are. We have been sent here by the Earth cultists. Kalanosh, like in his head, going like, "What's not a lie?" Factually <laughs> <laughs> correct. Which one said, "Shut up"? Uh, the lead. Uh, the lead guy <laughs> snarls at you when he sees you. Works and elves uh, for that. Each other. Just for that. I'm using Mage Hand. And oh, hell. I'm going to pickpocket right. him. <laughs> pickpocket? Wait! <laughs> you just abandoned Kether. <laughs> I don't know how that did. Not, Not good. good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> A failure, almost certainly. Uh, he's paying attention now, so I'll let him roll perception. We're going to see. Just so you know, my mage hand is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Heather got lucky. <laughs> he doesn't appear to be paying any attention to you. Uh, roll 2d10. You managed to find a coin purse with 16 gold pieces that is now floating right past everybody. <laughs> well, hold on, my no mage hand is invisible, though, so... That, does I'm that make the bag time. invisible? <laughs> what? Does that make the bag of coins invisible? I don't know. <laughs> I assume not. That would be a really powerful things, spell. Things that have oh. not been considered yet. What the hell? Hold on. Let me read this real quick, and then that will decide what, what I do with this thing. <laughs> oh, hell. Okay. This floating coin bag. All right. Meanwhile, Kalnar, what were you telling him? Um, we've been sent here by the Earth Cultists. I, you will submit your weapons for a weapons check. <laughs> Wallet and You heard me. <laughs> All right, that worked. Um, he just kind of uh, laughs at you and shakes his head. He says, uh, "We don't follow your orders." Whose orders do you follow? He just kind of snaps at you and says, uh, What are you doing down here? I told you the Earth Cult has sent us down here. For what? We're here We've got everything to... under control. Do you? Have you checked on the Ember Hulk? It's dead. What? What? It's what been happened? slain. You clearly do not have things under control here. <laughs> Roll out uh, persuasion. Roll, uh, persuasion. Okay. Or uh, roll, uh, roll. Well, either well, perspe perception or deception. Persuasion or deception. Which other one do you want to wish to roll? I'm it's technically roll not. Deception. You know what? I'm going to make you roll deception. You're not being deceived, but you're trying to deceive them. So even though you are being truthful. Okay. I'm not. I'm not being deceptive though. I'm saying things that are true. They are true. They are All right. True. Well, you can roll persuasion. Okay. <laughs> like I'm not lying. That's what deception is. <laughs> All right, he grunts and says to the other one, uh, you go check on the damn beast. He's like, hell no, I'm not going to check on that thing. It's going to claw my eyes out. They briefly start arguing, and while they do that and they're distracted, uh, Kethra's floating bag of coins goes by, and the ogre looks up, up, up and, and, and sees it and kind of waves at it as <laughs> it flies by. <laughs> And just kind of giggles for a second, and then goes back to like playing with his toys. <laughs> the Snickers are like that'll teach him. <laughs> Damn, I did get lucky though. <laughs> oh yeah. You think? That's what it's all about in this game. Luck. Right, and finally, they finally seem to come to an agreement. This one says, Rrr. and he goes out the door. Close it behind him. Thanks for a second. Hey, see if they know what's in the crypt. Okay. Um, we're also here to to examine the crypt to the northeast. What do you know about it? Mm -hmm. Stay out of there. Some kind of why? Some kind of ancient creature looks in the monastery. Uh, monks, uh, monks, stay away from, stay it. Away from it. Dangerous. Dangerous. 
consider that place sealed off. Hmm. Um, I don't know where to go from here with this. <laughs> so, how did this ogre? Even, how did this ogre even get in here? These doors aren't big enough for him. They're they're pretty big. Um, they're not can, ten by ten. Or, or, yeah. They're not, but they're he not, can but... he can squeeze through. It's not very comfortable not for him. He turns <laughs> sideways and shimmies. <laughs> yeah. What kind of toys is he playing with? Uh, like little wooden uh, figurines. Can be more specific. Any any plane? No, there's no planes in this time. Any dragons or anything? <laughs> any planes? <laughs> Um, uh, they appear to be dragon. like, uh, like just little, uh, uh, very, very simplistic carvings of like humanoids. Oh, that's good. Whatever. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and. Hold on. Hold on. I'm All going right. to. I'm going to do something before we do like, too many crazy things. <laughs> I'm. Don't worry, this is benign. I'm just gonna use Mage Hand to make the little figures move and interact with each other. Okay. Uh, hey, it could uh, distract him ogre, later. Yeah, the ogre appears yeah, to like ogre stare in wonderment, and, and then kind of like back up like closely and just kind of watches the scene play out. That's it. <laughs> right, Kalnar's gonna Kalnar's gonna be as he's talking to the the orc. He's gonna be just gonna be kind of strolling forward as if he's inspecting the room. Okay. I must tell you, sir, this operation you're running here is laughably inefficient. The, uh, yeah, Orog at this point, Orog, at this uh, point uh, actually, uh, actually pulls his weapon pulls out his as you approach, approach, and it says, uh, "You might be might with be them, them, but I don't know I you." Don't know you. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have mage hand also? <laughs> <laughs> Is he facing me? Uh, right he's now? looking at you. Yeah, as you're facing around him. I mean, you, you seem like you're like right, kind of right, next to him, like one-on-one -on -one conversation. So he's definitely following you. I'm just gonna walk up behind him. There's a, like a natural like well right here. With the, that's what the water is. It's okay. Uh, I can okay. stand on the edge. And I'm sort of strolling over here. <laughs> well. What now? Um, what now? I don't know. I think um, just says like, uh, leave. "How about you go back, and uh, I can escort you back upstairs." I don't think you need to be down here. And what about the slaves? How is My that concern. going? There are concern now, now that you have failed so miserably down here. <laughs> oh, man. Poorly is in my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you looking for down here? Uh, it's, I'm just digging where I'm told. I really want to just fight them now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've all I mean, been kind of waiting for not, it at this point. We're, yeah, I guess I guess we might as well. Um, just, just you can hear the uh, footsteps of the other of uh, another individual running quickly from the north. Okay, I'll just wait for him to come back. Wait for him to come back. Okay. All right. Burst through the door and says, "Uh." The Umber Hulk, the Umber Hulk's dead. Looks like it crashed through the eastern hallway. I didn't know it could do that. At this point, the big one just growls and says, Oh, damn it all. Do you see what we're talking about? Whatever killed that Umber Hulk is a danger to us all. Send your ogre to, to investigate. It, only it can handle whatever could take out an Umber Hulk. Uh, did you, what happened to it? What happened to it? Oh, are you asking me? I was asking yeah. the guy that came in. 
We know as much as you do. Something came down here and murdered... Murdered the Ember Elk. Roll a, uh, a uh, charisma check. Charisma check, okay. Just a check. Saving throw or check? I did a check. I did a check. Nope. Alright, at this point he says, No, I no, think I'm gonna keep him right here. Right here. I think you I think all need to go upstairs, need to go upstairs, or we'll march, we'll march you to the slave to the pens, pens until I get this sorted out. Sorted out. Um. Fine. Lead the way to the stairs. We will go back to the Earth Cultus and report your failure directly. He kind of grunts. Turns around and heads over to here. gestures the path north, and he says, uh, You can find your own way up there. Don't come back down here without good reason. To be honest, we can't. You What's offered to lead us to this... You, you offered to escort us out earlier. Follow your words, sir. <laughs> uh, roll persuasion. Right. <laughs> he grunts and says, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he says, that guy he says, uh, you lead him out there. He complains a bit and then shuffles over here. All right, you can follow him. I've got a, another missing one I've got to try to find. Should have returned by now. What happened? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. yet. Alright, let's let's leave with this guy. Counter makes it Is he ahead of us right now? Uh, yeah. Okay, he makes it about here and turns to the orc and says, I think we can find our own way from here. And he draws his sword. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> because the whole idea was to split them up and it never worked like I, like I wanted it to. Yeah. And this is the best I got. I kept trying to get the boss and the ogre in different places, but... Mm. You had this guy at rid of for a while. Mm hmm. Yeah. I was, trying to, the, I was trying to get the ogre to leave so that we could just kill Gruul or Orog or whatever his name is. Orog is the, just the generic orc name for these guys. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Does the other guy have a name? The leader? Uh, that is was Jerth. Or... Jerth, okay. Oh dear, he's ready for us. <laughs> Me and Miri did not go before him. Talus got the jump on him. Mm -hmm. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we really asked him if had some other spells. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants some fog cloud? <laughs> <laughs> Center on the staircase. Just run up and bonk him. I guess I shouldn't cast all cloud. All right. Probably not. <laughs> We're, we've got him pretty I, well. I really want to. You have those claws. <laughs> yeah, do some claw attacks. I don't have the claws. Oh, I thought you took him. I thought you took oh, him. I, I was joking because oh, okay. I can't cast spells. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. Well, you have them though. What? You have them. You may be a joke, but you have them right now. Oh, well, he does have them equipped then, because he wouldn't be able to cast spells. <laughs> Yeah. I I tossed them to Catherine at some point. I don't have them anymore. 
All right. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. However, 17 <laughs> will actually not hit the Oh, <laughs> man. That's good damage, dude. All right. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, all right. He will uh, bellow in rage and swing his great axe at Kalinar, who was the first to start this fight. Ineffectively. Yep. Wow, he has a plus six. That's just, yeah. Uh, that's it. Very. Oh, uh, he also he also shouts out a warning call. Um, down the hall. Of course it does. And says, uh, "Darth, there's a trap." Does <laughs> appear to be the brightest one of the bunch. 23 will... <laughs> you you hit with the lowest damage one. <laughs> yep, the two lowest damage ones. 5, 13 will... Uh, miss. You do have advantage, but it doesn't, still doesn't hit. And then 24 will hit for 5. So lots of little pummels and scrapes. He takes some damage from various smashes. Kalinar. Kalinar will swing his sword... With advantage of 25, that will hit. Mm -hmm. And cut a pretty deep gash in the like neck area, spurting blood out. Still on his feet, though. Oh, boy. And that will cut his head off completely. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um... I will say that combat is still active right now. I wasn't going to activate the other guys till the next round, however. So if you guys want to set up, and at the start of the next round, uh, Jerth will be on uh, the same initiative. The ogre will be a new one, but I won't roll it until after Kethra is gone. So in other words, Kethra, you get to go, and then I'll roll for the ogre. And then we'll start our round with the same initial. As soon as I see the white of the eyes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he has a pretty terrible initiative. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. He got a negative one. <laughs> he has a negative one. Ogres aren't very dexterous. So, Talus. Good to know. I'm going to... Giant lumbering brutes. I assume he's going to... There's a door at the bottom of the stairs just coming through. Right. There's a door at the bottom of the stairs, the ones you just came through, yeah. And then uh, the hallway just continues oh above you. I have to actually go to that map see what it looks like on that screen. Uh, uh, I'm going yeah, to just... cast Minor Illusion at the bottom of the stairs. And okay. this illusion is going to be a golden little figurine that's similar to the ones Ogre is playing with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Alright, so Jerth will 5, 10, 15, and open the door, which activates Kethra. Oh. <laughs> With a terrible shot that goes ringing off. Ching! Well, she wasn't prepared. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't never ready. Time. And let's see. He has a... His trait is the... Uh, which I think all orcs have this. Bonus action. Move up to its speed toward a hostile creature it can see. Mm. So he moved regular 5, 10, 15, and now he'll use his bonus action for aggressive. 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. And he will attack Kethra. 
Jesus. Ha! <laughs> and effectually. Yeah, I rolled a wow, five. Okay. No, sorry, that was the... I rolled the right thing, I just had it on the wrong uh, picture. Oh, okay. wrong. That was okay. uh, That was him. So the ogre has Not the ogre's twin, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> ogre and Orog look very similar. Uh, very... <laughs> Uh, I've rolled terribly and effectually for these guys. Fifteen. Roll back up. Eighteen is just good enough to hit him with the mace across the face. Mace to the face! Nineteen or uh, twenty, technically, with advantage, will also hit... You guys quickly, Jesus, mm -hmm. take several swings and chunks out of him. He appears very wounded from a flurry of blows of smashing damage. Uh, Kalinar, kind of hit with all three of those. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Kalinar will swing at him. Nine isn't gonna do it. No. <laughs> Twenty-three will. So it will thirteen solid slashing damage. Good cut. Deep in the exposed sides of his armor. Uh, Ketra. Hmm. How heavy is that door? Would it take less than 10 pounds of force to close it? Um. No? No. I need more. I don't. Uh, I guess I'm uh, you, you okay. could probably close it. With Mage Hand? Yeah. Yeah. This door looks like it sees a lot of regular use. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just, I'll just attack this guy in front of me. Oh, oh I shouldn't have attacked. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Man, yeah. getting some uncharacteristically oh. bad attacks. Can I use my potion of animal friendliness on the ogre? <laughs> Not an animal. Uh, is that it? Yep, I moved it up a little bit. All right, Ogre will come stumbling forward. Don't Five, forget ten, the little golden piece 15. on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I want to say that it takes double his movement to get through here. So, 20, 25, 30, and what was our rule for the illusion thing? <laughs> I think I wrote uh, it. He has to do an investigation. That is his it's turn, I think, action. too. Yeah. yeah. It's at the bottom of the stairs, though. Is it so? Is it right in front of him, or where's it? At? Like, is it to the right of Miriam Kellner, or is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Minor illusion. Yeah. All right. Investigate, ogre. I'm sure you're good at that. <laughs> you're wise beyond your years. What's the uh, DC check on it? Fifteen. He has a minus three. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Critically <laughs> succeeds. He oh, appears no. to kneel down in reverence, and then all of a sudden, just a furrowing anger appears in his head, and he tries to snatch it up, and his hand goes right through it. And he goes. Roar. Um. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, he will go <laughs> the rest of his movement: thirty-five, forty. But that was his action, so it'll get stack. Alice. Alice. He did use up his action, though. <laughs> yep. Talus seems slightly perturbed. <laughs> and sad That's for the ogre. The smartest, the smartest. ogre check ever. <laughs> How wounded does the ogre look? Or the uh, orc? Medium wounded. <laughs> Medium. Medium well. <laughs> medium, he's medium well. Uh, Any right. more, he's no good to eat. Mm -hmm. He'll be well done. Talus cast firebolts. 
17 is just not going to do it. <laughs> I think he did a 17 last time when he did the crit one. He does have good armor. Mm -hmm. Um, He will... He's going to attempt to attack... I guess let's turn around and attack Miri. Since he can't really get out of range without getting horribly wounded. Why did I select Orc? Orc, where are you? Can I ever hit with one of these guys? No, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not gonna lie, I was horribly holding my breath. I am consistent all hell, all hell, all hell. with the 14s. <laughs> all about the 14s. All about that base. I assume 14 is not gonna hit. Uh, Mary. This guy only attacks once. How lame. Kind of convenient, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, we'll attack him. Eighteen will hit. Smash him up a little bit. Uh, Hi, Petra is begging for your numbers. Good lord. <laughs> Nine. He appears very wounded after you slap him across the face with a mace, break a few teeth out of his jaw. He is staggering on his feet at this point. <laughs> if Kethra hadn't moved, I would have hit him again. Yep. Yeah. Fortunately, 17 will not quite hit as we have learned. Kelnar. Kelnar will swing at Zorog guy. <laughs> Jerth? Yes. Can you see his uh, name under him? No. 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 Uh, and when you roll, it just says Orog. It doesn't say anything special. How about now? Yes. There you go. Yeah, had I rolled, uh, I'd have to roll his initiative separately in order for his name to come up differently. Well, sadly, that's not going to touch. Nope. Let's try that again. Dodges and weaves. Dodges and weaves, <laughs> and weaves again. <laughs> Light on his feet despite being barely on them. Yep. Ketra. At least he's absorbing blows. Hi. All of you wish for Miri's numbers. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go for the killing blow. Killing blow. Check. Oh! Ketra! <laughs> Just fucking drunk the, the awful pills today. Holy crap. The mushrooms from earlier. <laughs> you shouldn't eat those mushrooms. They're fucking with you. They're in our eyes! <laughs> uh, next is going to be our ogre friend. He appears dim-witted, but also very, very strong. <laughs> you sure he's not an animal? He will attempt to s <laughs> swing his great club at Kalinar. Ah, uh, the great club... That's not going to hit him. Nope. Rolled terribly average for everything. I cannot hit with yep. crap today. I'm like we're Catherine. all just we're all just a weird parrying fight in this. Yeah. This whole sequence. Nobody's hitting anything. Uh, Talus, come back to you. Everyone, so so armorous. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not wearing armor. You're just amorous. Yep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, if Firebolt didn't work the first time, surely it'll work the second time. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Yeah. Who are you Firebolting? That doesn't matter. Oh, uh, uh, Firebolting, uh, Jerth. Okay. Yeah, he dodges out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Or he just stands there and the Firebolt just ineffectually, like, splits up on his armor. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, eh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this time right. we'll turn around and try to attack Kethra, because he does not like elves. The elf! She's responsible for this. She's responsible for all this. Ah! Wow. 14. Close. Yeah. No. Look at this terrible, terrible damage on a crit. Oh my god. Yep. This is just Even embarrassing. If Even if he had hit, you would have been like, whatever. <laughs> Golly! I guess I'll dodge it. You guys are kind of <laughs> shitty. <laughs> Mary! 
I've had like four attacks on. Wow. <laughs> All right, okay. that's how it's done. Lightbringer's he... the only thing doing damage. Lightbringer's the only thing that does anything, and it just smashed his skull against the wall. I will do a very delicate pirouette and turn around and <laughs> miss horribly. Uh, fun fact: an ogre does not wear armor, so that will actually slap him okay. across the big fat belly. <laughs> Which is why I asked Reese, because 11 will hit. Yep. <laughs> That's why I figured you asked me. Let's we'll fall off with another slap across the belly. And another slap across the belly. He's attacking Good him. lord! <laughs> yeah. It's hypnotic in its way. Kalinar! Alright. Kalinar cannot get behind this ogre to do any sort of. <laughs> uh... Can you not move through it? What are the rules for moving through an enemy? Double movement for each tile, and he would get a opportunity attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> As you basically try to like slide between his legs or something. Basically, yeah. There we go. That's just, that's not the effect, but it's yeah, only it's eleven. Eleven, yeah. <laughs> it would have been even better, but looked. You have a plus eight. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, I guess we've just talked about it before. Alright, 11 All right. will slash <laughs> across the belly again. And 17 will hit as well. He is taking a lot of damage. He's bleeding from multiple wounds and appears medium well done. Uh, Kethra. Uh, he's, he's injured? Okay. I will just do a... I didn't say so. <laughs> he is definitely injured. All of the last couple attacks have hit him. I'm just gonna shoot my crossbow at him then. <laughs> Lucky for you, he has no armor, so you do hit him. Yeah. Yes. Seventeen. Jesus. He, yeah, that plinks him like right in the uh, head, kind of on the side of the head. And uh, he kind of just shakes it off, but he's like dizzy and staggering, and appears very, very wounded. And he will swing his. You know, I'm gonna roll a 1d2, and that's who he's gonna because he's swinging wildly. One for Miri, two for Kalinar. Miri it is. Oops, I'm still in the Orog. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> just, just takes a giant gash out of the wall nearby. I don't think I've hit a damn thing since the stupid fucking mushrooms. <laughs> Uh, tell us. Firebolt! Mmm! To the eye! For minimum damage! Uh, you singe off the ogre's eyebrows. <laughs> and he looks ridiculous. And also extremely near death. Um, Orogs are dead, so goes to Mary. Will Lightbringer continue its reign of furious justice? <laughs> yes, it will! You bring Lightbringer up in an uppercut, and it kong, swings him upward as he falls backwards and dies. This room shits and giggles. <laughs> Lightbringer's slowing down, although that would have hit him anyway. <laughs> Alright, that appears to be the last of them. Uh, I believe you already robbed Jareth. The other one, uh, Orog, you can roll 2d10 on for loots. And I believe Jareth had 16, is that right? <laughs> Kethra? <laughs> you should have whispered, should have whispered that. Accusingly. <laughs> yeah. No, he was poor. <laughs> <laughs> he was poor. Can I do a perception check in the room to see if there's anything valuable in here? Yep. Also, Jirth has keys on him. My oh, okay. I'll take the keys. <clears throat> I'll uh, hand the claws to Kethra. Thanks. Uh, you want to let more people... Yeah, all of you can perceive no. the room if you want to look for stuff also. You have to cast spells. Everyone has to cast spells, whatever. <laughs> Everybody cast spells. <laughs> I'm gonna pickpocket. I'm gonna pocket, pocket this guy then. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. 
the second guy? Yeah, you, yeah. Room? Is it still called pickpocketing or is it just no. looting? Looting, yeah. Sleight <laughs> of hand, <laughs> yeah, looting. Once they're yeah, dead. Kether practices her sleight of hand on a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't notice. <laughs> the corpse <laughs> doesn't notice. <laughs> Find more gold pieces. Here, Talos, here's seven. Uh, yeah, so you guys found the keys on Jerth. He appears to have keys that look like they go to places in here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the places you'll see. You guys find a uh, loose flagstone underneath a sleeping pallet. Looks like it was Jerth's with a pouch inside. And the pouch is full of coins to the tune of 90 gold pieces and 40 electrum pieces. Wow. Looks like his personal loot stash. His stash. DGP forty right. EP. Also find a uh, small potted plant. Looks like a little uh, kind of like a bonsai bush. Those little miniature things. Yeah. With a number of uh, like purple berries on it, and it seems kind mm -hmm. of odd because the plant looks very healthy despite no like sunlight anywhere down here. It appears to have some kind of uh, yep. magical aura around it. Or does it need yeah. to be perception? Uh, I'm just going to tell you, you sense a magical aura about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I can roll an arcane check, or identify spell, or okay. the resting, examining thing. Fifteen. Cool. Yeah, it'll be good enough. Um, what did I write this down at? So this is a ch uh, plant that has been enchanted with good berries, and uh, it will replenish up to ten berries each morning at dawn, and each berry restores one hit points and counts as a full day's ration. Would you die if you ate ten of them at once? <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> it, it, it it operates like the spell Good Berry, which is a druid spell where you can summon a bunch of berries that you can eat that heal you. And they are not <laughs> meant to be used in the middle of combat because they literally take one action to eat one berry. But uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a big berry. It essentially, works as a healing thing you can carry around and heal up to ten hit points with once per day. Nice. Cool. Um, can I have Drew push. carry it? Droop loves that decision. He uh, <laughs> pretends it is a precious baby that he cradles in his arms. <laughs> Excellent, Droop. Can you pick them and, and save them? It only, um, it grows a certain amount, and once they're gone, it, they won't regrow until the next day, and it only regrows the ones that are missing, so it can only have up to uh, ten, but... Yeah, let's say I take ten and put it in my pocket, and then the next day, ten more will grow... Mm, well, they they, they only last for, for that day. They'll wither and die at the end. Oh, okay. Magic berries. Don't game the system. <laughs> can you put the plant in your backpack? You can. I will let you do that. Like okay. I said, magical plant exists without needing normal plant requirements. You're taking the plant? Yeah. Group has the plant. Okay. Group has the plant. plant. Okay. Yep. All right, so we each get 10 Electrum. 10 Electrum and 22 Gold. What's this, a bell? You said there's a bell? Oh, it's well. Bell. Water. Oh, well. That makes more sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I believe... We should probably go let all these prisoners free now. I think that was the last of their guards. But now you want to free them. Yeah. There's not no more orcs running around, I think. <laughs> Justice has been temporarily sated. <laughs> Can you have me follow, follow Kalinar? Yeah. Okay. Alright, you guys notice uh, a bunch of... 
prisoners in various states of distress, all like in rags. Uh, most of them look uh, human, although there's some varying uh, races and they appear to be equal parts men and women in here. I just use the same graphic because fuck, I'm not trying to find different tokens for all these things. <laughs> they're all they're all old men. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried to like search prisoner and it was a pain in the ass to find. Um, the one that stands out is in the corner here is a dwarf that appears to be, although he's just <laughs> just as uh, kind of ratty as the others, his clothes appear to be, were once much more finer and uh, look like he was like not a farmer. Mm. You, sir, what is your name? Let's see. It says, uh... Why well, I wouldn't know that the Harper sent us, but I mean, someone else knows that. Uh, uh, we are not your captors. Your captors are, are dead. Oh, hang on. Oh, are you opening that door? I assume. Yeah. All right. All the prisoners. I'll be. Brief. I'll be. I'll be walking around with with Jerl's, Jerth's keys and unlocking everybody the whole time. Okay. They appear to be very like confused and fearful um, for the most part, and still like cowed. And they kind of everybody looking at you. Uh, Questioningly, but please. Oh, what was his name? Broldenthar. 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 The Harpers are here to have sent us to get you out. Oh. <laughs> gives gives Dallas a side glance. They are. Bless you all. <laughs> they are. I was traveling with the delegation through the valley. We're not a day's travel out of Belliard, heading south, when we were ambushed by an army, bugbears and stone warriors, and figures mounted on giant beasts burrowed through the ground. Our defenders were brave, but they were all slain. They took several of us captive and paid off some pirates to ferry us across the Deseran River didn't seem quite like ordinary pirates. They have a fortified keep right on the river, not far from here. Bastards took my precious volumes and manuscripts as payment. Those are invaluable artifacts to my people. And he appears to like shake and quiver with rage. And he kind of sighs down Kevin, a little bit. Kevin, Kevin, hold on, you think like you're dying. And he shoves a good berry in his mouth. <laughs> If you're taken aback by this action and then chumps it down, he says, Mmm, good berry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. As uh, on land, we traveled west, taking a winding path through the hills. We were ambushed by some crazy knights riding giant vultures. Our captors fought them off, but they made off with one of our own, a uh, uh, diplomat from Waterdeep, Mara. Oh. Not before she stabbed one of them. Uh, Sarah just smirks in the background. <laughs> I thought they might try to ransom us or torture us for information. Instead, they split us up and stuck me here with these other prisoners. <laughs> you notice he has kind of a disdain for like the rest of them that he's with. <laughs> uh, we've been toiling for days, digging out the mines beneath this monastery, but... There's nothing here. No gems, no wars. I don't know what they're doing down here or what use we are of them. But please, I value my life, but I and my people value those lost books even more. We must recover them. Wait, who has the books again? Uh, he mentioned that the books were used as payment to the river pirates. Uh, to ferry them across the river. 
And then as he was telling this, uh, <laughs> thing comes up and says, your map got updated, and you now have the location <laughs> of the uh, the keep on the river. River pirate key. <laughs> journal updated. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I suppose I could literally update your journal. Where are we missing delegation? So, recover historical dwarven do uh, dwarven documents is the one I will update as now having a destination. Okay. It was all good information. We were in fact, we in fact have been on the trail of the missing convoy. We didn't know where they had been taken. It was good to have some answers in that regard. Do you know where they took the woman? Uh, from the ambush site, they flew north towards um, what looked like a giant spire in the sky. I don't know where they ended up, where she ended up. But, uh, they kept me alive, so maybe they were just interested in taking prisoners. What about the other delegates that were with you? Theresiel and Rindor. Yes, they were alive last I saw them, but they split us up. I don't know where the others ended up. I don't... I haven't seen them since, so I don't know... I don't think they're still in this monastery. Spire in the sky, that's not the wind place, is it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, we know they had her, and they, they took her somewhere mm -hmm. else. Presumably to the place we couldn't get in. Yeah. yeah. Mary's going to shout out that we're looking for others. Lugrita, or Lachna. Carlos, Charlie. Yeah, you go over the names. He, he kind of shrugs and says that you can ask around these prisoners. Um, that's what I did. Nailed out. Okay, yeah. They, there's been some murmurings and peop, some people wail about, oh no, so and so got captured, <laughs> but nobody seems to have any answers on those uh, other specific people. But they do say that, uh, like you know, hopefully they're alive and people have been taking us, so <laughs> they're somewhere. <sighs> Not here. Princess Pete is in another castle. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you found one princess. There are others. These are not princesses. Um. Uh, was it Br Brundlethor? What is his name? Yes. Brundlethor. Brundlethor. Yes. Um. The Earth cultists have not been cleared out. The path up is not clear. We will free you all, but I wouldn't go advise going upstairs quite yet. We're still making our way through this. He nods and says, uh, I understand that uh, we'll need to have a clear path. I've been trying to scout around these mines to see if there's an exit. And I think at the uh, one of the tunnels in the west uh, looks like it might continue on farther than anyone realizes. But there's some rubble in the way that might be cleared. Otherwise we can... Uh, Wait for you to clear the path for the rest of us. <laughs> I'm in. I'm no warrior. Very I'm afraid. Good. Very good. You do that. We'll come back for you once this place is clear of its current occupants. I will Godspeed, every, I will hoppers. Everyone. Counter's already gone before he says it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you notice one or two of them, uh, as soon as you unshackle, uh, begin to like look furtively and like start running down the west hall. How would you like to react to that? Uh, just I'll just yell, hold! You're not safe by yourselves. You must stay in a group and stay here until we have cleared the passage out. One of them says, uh, I think I'll take my chances. Thanks a lot. And starts, like, running farther. The other one hesitates a second. Just let them go. They're not going to get out because that door is blocked with a lock. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't trust it, though. 
We're, we're, could he, yeah, he I mean, yeah. I mean, he could bring all of them down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kalinar's gonna chase him and stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Just grapple him. Okay, I will let you do that without a check, because he is a very weakened prisoner. <laughs> okay, and Kalinar's gonna drag him back and lock him back up. <laughs> He's gonna lock up to uh, Broldenthar and say, Broldenthar, give me your arm. Uh, okay. Connor doesn't wait. He manacles the one who's going to run away to Broldenthar. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you, all, this one. you all stay together. You all leave as a group when we've said it's clear to leave. No one leaves here until then. Do you all understand? Broldenthar says, this doesn't seem like proper Harper <laughs> activities. <laughs> I am no Harper. <laughs> that is true. Hmm. He might be the exact opposite of a Harper. <laughs> <laughs> the other one seems cowed and runs back. Counter's bits I want to. I want to hear it from all of you. Do you understand me? <laughs> they meekly nod. And I undo the manacle from Brudenthal, and then manacle him to Kalinar um, instead. Why? <laughs> I'm standing right there. I'm not gonna let you do this. What are those things? Mage hand is invisible. But the well, manacles are right not. Yeah. <laughs> Mage hand doesn't automatically make everything invisible. Otherwise, you could just grab like everything, like swords and shit, and just <laughs> magically stab people. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm He's gonna bat Minor those illusion. Away. And make it look like the manacles are. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the most irresponsible use of magic in this party, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna cast. Um, Cause I gotta get in on this. Uh, elemental. elemental attunement. <laughs> oh, and make like sparks fly around Kalinar's head, so that way he's not paying attention. <laughs> And before he knows it, the slave is manacled to him. <laughs> Why to him, though? Huh? <laughs> this is like some kind of like Three Stooges moment, only with magic involved. Just manacle him to someone else. <laughs> okay, fine. Manacle him to this guy right here. <laughs> Alright. Somebody's getting manacled to somebody. Broldenthar okay. looks on in amazement and just kind of shakes his head and says, Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. Calinar says, whatever, <laughs> and walks out. These aren't the heroes we deserve, but they're the ones we need. <laughs> Cut through the room. I assume we're still going to the crypt area to... Um, Calinar, are, are you going to require me to do all the things if I want to run back and just unchain the other two that we saw earlier? Oh, um, we can just, if you want to tell me how that goes down, we can do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go back and unchain them and tell them to go back to the, go back to this group. Okay. And, and wait for us to come back for them. Gotcha. Can I more lighter on my character? <laughs> you want to expose more light of your lantern? Mm-hmm. The crypt is back to the store. I like that you can cast a light spell, but you like to use a lantern. Well, I cast it on a pellet and put it inside the lantern. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oops. That crypt room is back to the store. So I can cover it up at any time. Okay. All right. This door. More light. Let us reopen the door. You may reopen the door. It's already been through this one. All right, this is where we were earlier. Okay. Yeah, you sense the dead somewhere over here. Yes. The dead. Stop right here, and I. I investigate the skeleton. Yeah, investigate the skeletons. <laughs> there are runes you can investigate. Where are those? Arcane runes just all over this place. Okay. Uh. 
Um, you're pretty sure they are runes of uh, warning. Um, kind of generic, like, do not disturb, do not go any further, and those kind of things. Are they written by their Earth cult? No. They appear mm. to be much, much older than that. Oh. Okay, there's something very dangerous in here. There's a Good door thing. to the south. It has uh, more runes near it as well. Why is the turn order thing on? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. Um, roll another arcana. Arcana. If you wish, shields. Uh, what'd you roll? 20. That's damn good. Damn, damn good. Yeah, you notice yeah. a glyph of warding on the door that will uh, explode with a pretty powerful spell if you step within five feet of this door. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Check out the door, Catherine. Tell us there's nothing. Don't move. <laughs> you rolled a 20, so I'll go ahead and identify the spell as Cloud Kill. Yeah, go and lock the door. Sure Does anyone again. have the spell? I have a question no. of animal friendliness. We could just have a mage hand open the door, and that would more just than likely set it off. Step way back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna step back here. By the way, you guys, at the east end of the crypt stands a magnificent uh, stone sarcophagus, but it is open, and you can already see from here it is completely empty. And oh, wow. uh, it has a inscription carved across the front of the sarcophagus. Can, I can we squint and read what it says? <laughs> Kalinar's getting up there. Yep, getting this close. Yeah. Uh, you can see that it says, Here lies Samilar Caradun, Defender of the North. Oh boy. Samilar. And I know that a name. bunch of bodies begin stirring around you. <laughs> Love the door. Love the door. Yeah, can I use my boat? Oh, you have <laughs> We got zombies here. Oh, Alright, he's roll for initiative. Wait, does this zombie get hit by the cloud kill then? The door hasn't been opened yet. The door has not been opened yet. I thought it said within five feet. You guys never stepped within five feet of the door. Yeah, you were that close. <laughs> yeah. But the, zo but the zombie is. The zombie might trigger it. Oh, so if he, if he steps in front of the door. Oh, okay, so it's not five feet, it's, for you. it's just one square. Right, the within, door is down. Those... Yeah. Right, but these spaces are within five feet of the door. Is uh, that's, uh, yeah, technically, yeah. but it's the square, like, right <laughs> yeah. in front of the door. Okay. Yeah. Initiative. You guys have fought many zombies before. Yes. But none yeah. this powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Imbued with Not dark like energies. This. Yeah. The Ur zombies yeah. shuffle forth. Umber zombies. <laughs> Umber zombies. <laughs> oh my god, there the are hand. traits in the monster the manual the for ogre zombies and beholder zombies. And it's oh like, if you want to zombify anything, you can just go nuts. <laughs> it's like, now that would be something fantastic. That yeah, would. Ah! Oh! Wow. Zombie initiative! And the crowd goes wild, except Mary still rolled higher. Mary's turn. Hey, I rolled 18 too. That, yeah, everybody rolled pretty good on initiative. I just rolled really well for some reason. Mm -hmm. Despite their yeah. negative 2 initiative modifier. So the zombies the go zombies for it. Or can I roll for it? Do what? I roll for who goes first, me or those zombies? 
Yes, we will have to roll a d20 for that when it is your turn. Lightbringer versus Undead. Oh boy. Uh, 11 will hit a zombie. They don't have armor. And you do extra radiant damage. Oh boy. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> As you swing it, it brings off a light. Righteous Fury Ooh. that seems to deal more damage to him. What is that? 9, 8, 9, 10, 11 again. <laughs> How much life does he have? I would like to do radiant damage this fight, but I have no spell slots left to do oh, any wow. sort of powder or anything. Yeah, you guys haven't long rested in a while. He's still alive? He is still alive, sorry, yeah. He took he is uh almost well done. <laughs> he is very, <laughs> very injured. It's hard to tell on a zombie, but uh he is Still clinging to unlife, oh, but looks on. absolutely like there's almost nothing left in that zombie. There's a oh, tent bitch. keeping its head to its body. Alright, so roll a 1d20, uh, Reese. And who rolls higher goes first. <laughs> I think it's the zombies. <laughs> yep, I think you're right. All right, zombies, shuffle forth. They move not very fast. Five, ten. That's uh, ten. Five, ten. This one you notice barely misses triggering the runes, and instead goes straight for you guys. So two attacks on Miri. Why well, that one gets to move fifteen if everybody else moves ten? They have a 20 speed, so... Oh. They just didn't... Most of them didn't have to use their full speed. <laughs> who's who's, who's attacking? Uh, those are the two against Miri. And then we're going to do one on Kethra, the one in front of Kethra. 15? Um, uh, probably sure. Have multiple ways of getting rid of that damage. <laughs> you can take that three. <laughs> nope, we're going to take the one. <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, one against Talus. Nope. Ten, nope. And two against Kalinar. Five. <laughs> Fifteen. Nope. Not gonna do it. All those attacks. <laughs> <laughs> one damage out of yeah. all the attacks. Yeah, one damage. There's zombies. Talus determined to trigger that door anyway. Cast a mage hand, and uh, I guess touch the door, like to turn the lock on the door, the handle on the door, but not open it. Okay, to trigger the trap. Yeah. Well, that's that's exciting. <laughs> You're gonna really so wish funny. you hadn't done that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Am I far enough back? Oh boy. <laughs> I do get to play with this. Okay. Oh shit. So oh, no. we're gonna cast this. The only way to show can see what I see. Oh, I rolled shit for damage. <laughs> and let me get my graphic. Twenty foot radius. That's that only hits Connor. Yeah, it only hits me. Yeah. 20 foot radius, so let's see. 5, 10, 15, It's a 20, 40 foot uh, diameter. 10, 10, 20, yeah. Right, but centered on the on the glyph will not be bad. Yeah. yeah. Alright, it releases a giant poisonous cloud that begins to fill in the area. And the fog actually moves. If you look at the description, uh, 10 feet at the end of each turn, and it's going to move 10 feet uh, away from the door to the uh, northwest. Essentially spreading uh, outward. And what is it? Damage, I believe, is... It's a level 5 spell. Holy yes, shit. it is. And look at that DC <laughs> to resist it. Yeah, 20. What kind of thing could cast such a spell? 
How exciting. Uh, <laughs> I need to figure out if that is when it's cast or when you start your turn. So I thought I didn't. Did I put that in the description somewhere? Let's see. I messed that up then. When a creature enters a spell's area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. Or st okay, so either you enter it or you start your turn. Gotcha. So it won't affect Kalinar until the start of his turn. Yeah. All right. So I assume that was your action. Yeah, in the main chain. Uh, so Kalinar, it's your turn. So now you have to. So you're starting your turn in the cloud. Okay. And I don't have an initiative for technically this one, so I'm just going to do it at the uh, end of the round. It'll do its movement. So go ahead and roll a 20 constitution check, which is the heart symbol. Okay. Constitution Saving throw? Saving throw, sorry. Okay. Saving throw. The heart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, that's... you take 14 poison damage. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh... 14, 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay, okay. Um, so where is it moving? This direction? Well, Basically so. north and northwest. At a rate of 10 feet per round. Okay. Hmm. Counter will move right here. Wait, wait, uh, you'll have to take an attack opportunity from this zombie. Right, yes. Wait, can we move to the northeast then? Why would you? It'll be, you'll be in it then. It's up to you where you want to move. I'm not the boss of your movement. <laughs> oh, it's moving northwest. Attack of opportunity! Damn! That was a good attack of opportunity, yes, too. It was! <laughs> he slaps you as you try to move away. One six is oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a lot of my life right there. Yeah. Um. Oh, we swing at this one. Twenty-five will definitely hit a zombie. Eleven is gonna be massive damage on this one. Also, that's a weak ass zombie. Nice. Con save first, 15 or higher. He does get these guys. Wow. They have a good. Yeah. Con. So he saved? Oh, he is, yeah. Okay. 10. 10 hit, the zombie? Yes. Hmm. Uh, zombie. Things have no health. Six. He appears very near death after that onslaught. Alright, I don't think you can do anything else, because, yeah, can't do anything else. Uh, Kethra? So I can tell that the cloud is moving northwest? Northeast. Oh, yeah, northwest. Northwest, yeah. It looks like it is beginning to spill out kind of towards. The open passages to the west, essentially. Okay. Uh, where all of those people are. <laughs> <laughs> it it lasts for uh, ten minutes, so it doesn't last right. forever, but certainly for the length of combat. Well, I'm gonna run away from this. Oh shoot! If I run away from this, to I take two attacks. I... You just disengage, can't you? I already use. Well, I use my reaction. To uncanny dodge. <laughs> well, that oh, was uh, that's a reaction. I haven't used my bonus action. No. Oh yeah, that's true. I use my bonus action to disengage. Fifteen, and then just mm. die. That will definitely hit and murder that zombie. Although they do have your favorite ability of undead fortitude. Make a con saving the DC of five plus the damage taken. Which would 17. be 17! <laughs> oh, shit! <What>? Boom! <laughs> Shakalaka! <laughs> so he drops to one hit point instead. As you try to go for the kill, but you miss his brain. What brain? 
<laughs> Alright, so this is the end of the round, so it will move five ten. And go to Miri. So I'll hit this guy first. The super wounded guy. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I hit everybody. Okay. Alright, and because that is radiant damage, he does not get to use Undead Fortitude, and he is instead murderized, because a 9 will hit him. As the uh, light, searing light, like, cauterizes, I don't know what it does. <laughs> he fucking dies. <laughs> cauterizes his brain. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Smite him, oh holy smiter. Alright, I'll hit the next guy. And now you can't get damage going at all, but that does hit him for 6. <laughs> And another one for six. These guys have no armor. He's still alive, but appears very, very wounded from that onslaught of attacks. And then we have the zombies go next. And, uh, by the way, they are immune to poison damage. They care not a fig what? of the poison cloud. Alright, that sucks. The one that hit this man. <laughs> Yeah. Age. Yes. Probably a solid <laughs> move. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't have a misty step in your pocket, that's probably the best thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hide in one of the coffins. <laughs> <laughs> this is the safest spot to go. Uh, Kalinar. Um. There's one, two, and I'll be fine. I'm gonna move right here. Your whip came froze for me. You know, flip it off and on for me. I hit that back. I'm <laughs> nope. not gonna move. I'm gonna stay right here. Just randomly. Swing at this one. Happen. Minus? No, Heather. Uh, no, Heather. Uh, which one? I'm not moving. I'm, I'm attacking this one right here. The one that's got one health point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because regardless if he die if he dies or not, if I take him down to zero, I get my cleave. Hmm. I think you took him down to zero. 19 will hit, so he is a 9 plus 5. It's 14. 14 he has to get. And he does. Zombies. Holy shit, so I got two more attacks. I don't know if I should just keep trying on him or not. Uh, yeah, I'll keep trying on the same guy. So that's an interesting rule uh, quirk, so Cleave actually does go off because... You yes. technically reduced him to zero points, then. he just pops back up to one, essentially. Yep. Hey, well, can he make a 20 saving throw? Yes, he can. He's... <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah. Uh, no! Man, he absorbed a bunch of damage, though, didn't he? <laughs> he did, he did. He took... Jeez. He just, he just Finally goes man. down under a giant, just cleaving strike. Alright, I got one more that I'll do against this guy. One second. Actually, no, at this point, I will move up right here. Yep. And I'll swing in this one. 
16 will hit for 11. And that is going to be massive damage against that zombie. These zombies vary a lot in hit points. Seems like it. When I rolled for him, yeah. And he makes his Jesus. <laughs> a crit and a fail. <laughs> yep. Uh, not massive damage. They rarely take that massive drama. Kethra. I, Kethra, will not risk getting near a fog cloud, even though I think I know where it's going. And just uh, shoot this zombie below, counter out my crossbow. Oh, Ooh, that is a lot of numbers. <laughs> uh, uh, it's 13. It's 13. Yeah, 13. Uh, that will kill him, so 13 and 5 is 18. Let's see if we can roll an 18 or higher. No! No! Nope. Headshot! Yeah, headshot. Plunk. Ball's dead. It's a Daryl move. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Alright, so the. Oh, yeah, you can move. And the cloud will move 5, 10. Mary, it's gonna be on you shortly. <laughs> the cloud is slowly. Just, just FYI. Mary's turn. The giant ball of death. Alright, so I am going to use Step on the Wind and spend one key point to disengage. Mm. I stayed as long as I could. <laughs> yep. That's solid. So I'll move here. And then I will throw. Dart is the guy I was fighting. Hmm. Uh, that actually would kill him, so I have to roll. <laughs> uh, okay. But I just need to roll a nine or better. Yep. <laughs> Drops to one hit point. That dart looks like it would kill him, but it doesn't quite hit the brain. Try it again. Matt. <laughs> roll 11. Yep. Time. Can I roll an 11? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> these are like the up. best meat seals ever. Yep. Actually, yo yo. Boing, boing, boing. Yep. <laughs> that is my turn. Alright, zombies. Shuffle forth. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Let's get all zombied up. <laughs> Please come back and hit you with Lightbringer again. Yeah, this one will attack Mary. No! Oh, wow, just embarrassing damage though. Wow. But double crits is yeah. impressive. A seven is not the most impressive crit. <laughs> Man, all those greens are thinking, oh shit! <laughs> yep. Uh, and the O2 will attack Kalinar. Wait, I only took 7 damage? Yeah. Yeah, the other crit damage with the other roll. Yeah, it literally rolled separate crit for both rolls for some reason. Oh, okay. Uh, 15 and 5, so I don't think Ida's gonna do it. No. <laughs> for 4 damage total. Alice! <laughs> uh, yeah, they're. Yeah. Their strength lies in their ability to absorb blows, not to do damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which means just them by themselves is not very. We need to fear the combo of like archers behind a wall of something. Yeah, or a flame skull. <laughs> or a flame skull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we left those in forges. That's right. Clanging around for eternity. For eternity. All right. Uh, Talos will fire a bolt at the zombie to the south of Kalinar. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it will nice. definitely strike it for 7 damage. Man, I'm You're doing terrible on damage. Moderately wounded. Average is 10. <laughs> is it really? Wow. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. 2d10. Whenever you roll really well for damage is when you miss the firebolt. <laughs> you can only yeah. either hit him or do a lot of damage, not both. It's like just the charging up like, makes your hand shake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Kalinar. I will swing at the one south of me. Yeah, all my damage comes from this cloud spell, which... Yes. 
Too bad it's not sentient and can't just roll over you. <laughs> that would be devastating. Ten will hit. Which one are you hitting? The one south of me. Okay. Thirteen is almost mortally wounding. All right, I'll swing again. Eight will be a killing blow. Maybe. No. Nope. nope. No. I swing again. Rough so <laughs> Yeah, it's funny that makes your cleave I, go off. My cleave will go on the same guy. <laughs> your sword arm thinks sword it's arm. killing people, so it gets to swing again. Yep. Oh boy, I roll a 19. No. <laughs> there we go. He goes down. This time down. I severed his head in half this time. Yep. Whatever cool Walking Dead kill you want. <laughs> Get through a... So the one to the left of Kalinar has not been attacked. The one to the north uh, has... One yes, one. he's already been through his undead 42. <laughs> oh. Um, Alright, I'm going to step down here. 5, 10. And shoot the left. Most one. For my crossbow. Oh, oh, he's about to be in the cloud again. Now, it'll move up and over, and it'll keep me out of my range. 23, okay. Is that massive damage? It is very massive damage. You almost one hit killed him. <laughs> what? And he saves against the massive damage trauma. Boy. In fact, All it right. seems to make him stronger. The cloud <laughs> moves right. 5, 10 feet. There used to be... Exiting the crypt area slowly. Back up to Mary. So, if I go. If I move here, am I in the cloud? No. 5, 10, 15. Okay. This guy first. Bye-bye. Yep, you can auto-kill yep. them. Yeah, that comes in really handy. Very handy. Yep. Okay. Aren't you a paladin? Aren't you have radiant damage somewhere? Uh, and that in my kill spell that one. slots, yes. Okay, you don't have, have any. I have zero spell slots now. Gotcha. Alright, you murder both of them with radiant damage. Huzzah! <laughs> Zombies fall, no more corpses rise, and if you guys want, you can just wait and watch as that deathly poisonous cloud... <laughs> spills its way out of the room. Is that and... going to hit the prisoners? <laughs> no. Uh, not... Yeah, it, it moves. Yeah, it. Uh, it's kind of moving in this direction. You notice as it's hitting, like once it gets to, like the hallway, it starts dispersing. And you presume that about the time it hits like the other side of the Umberhold body, it probably it only did 28 damage total to us. It's okay. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, he's headed off in the middle of this fight. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. That would be funny if we found the prisoners just all choked to death. <laughs> like, like, like they, were, they, were, they were trying to leave through the tunnels, and it caught them. Like, oh god, what did we run into? Well, something is bad is behind that door. I think that would be a good and stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds says, good. He says uh, dramatically. Um, yep. Yeah, I can't wait for you to explore the possibilities of this ramification. Tune in next week <laughs> uh, for more Princes of the Apocalypse in the bottom of the Sacred Stone Monastery, which you guys just about completely cleared out. Um... Yeah, we'll be here next week. Uh, thank you to Chris, Heather, Raymond, and Reese. I am Eric. See you guys next time. Bye!